usage of AI in cyber security is not new. Okay, there have been uh, a lot of uh, products, technologies where AI has been leveraged. If I have to talk about Trend Micro, uh, when I talk about my email security solution, which was released maybe uh, uh, eight, nine years back, it had a flavor of uh, leveraging AI for detecting some sophisticated attacks. When we are talking about cybersecurity, uh, in today's uh, parlance, what we are essentially trying to also say is that uh, we are dealing with volume of threat, okay? And if you have to deal with something which is voluminous in nature, something which requires automation, something which should be most uh, more agile the way it is being done right now, the way it is being handled right now, I think AI is answer to most of these problem statements, right? Uh, if you ask me and if you ask any seasoned CISO, uh, what is it that you are uh, battling hard with in when you are trying to de deal with your SOC teams, their first answer would be alert fatigue. So AI, I think, will definitely help us uh, cut down a lot of noise, give those pointed high fidelity alerts to different uh, SOC teams and maybe make a cyber security threat management more agile. Yeah. the threat detection has to become, like I said, more pointed. So the quality of threat detection will be determined by what? By the kind of detection models that you run against that uh, that quantum of uh, data. AI definitely plays a great value in determining the uh, quality of that de de detection model against or a correlation rule in a layman's term, if we would uh, want to call it. How do you use AI to make more intelligent decisions from this volume of data? For example, threat hunters. The job of threat hunters is not easy right now. Uh, you are telling them to find maybe a needle in a haystack. Can AI help them do that? The answer is yes. Can AI uh, maybe make the job of uh, L1 analyst little easier? Yes. Or even to L2, L3s, can uh, AI maybe give them the predictive threat path, path analysis, right? Uh, the answer is yes. We are talking about attacks that phrase risk management. We are talking about uh, giving a risk score to an organization. Uh, with AI, I think we can quantify the risk score more accurately. Uh, with AI, we are also looking at probably, uh, you know, giving a more business sense to this. Hey, you know, Mr. Customer, if your risk score is 30, which means this is the potential damage uh, that, that you're susceptible to. So AI can uh, get all of these technologies together. Why am I able to say that? Because Vision One, which is essentially our uh, AI-driven threat detection platform, we are building in this uh, into that platform, and we are seeing a, a very good response from customers uh, when they see that uh, there is a bit of AI, and this AI is helping them make their job easier and uh, making them take more intelligent and faster decisions. The organizations have to look in totality uh, when they are building AI infrastructure, whether it is, you know, as cliche as it may sound, people, process, technology, checking the hygiene things, uh, ensuring that no PII goes. Uh, and I think beyond that, it's also the responsible use of AI. When you are building, for example, AI apps, there are a lot of businesses that are into building AI apps. Can you build, uh, can, you, can you make sure that those AI apps can't be jailbreaked? jailbroken. For example, you know, you have seen your iPhone. Uh, jailbreaking means that when you build a software, there are certain restricted area. You put some guardrails. That is what a developer does that beyond which you cannot access the software because then you cannot override certain things which are restricted. So if you are building an AI app in your organization, you have to ensure that you build in a such a manner that it does not allow uh, 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 a person with a bad intent to go beyond the restricted limits. So these are the few things I think uh, if kept in mind, we can uh, a, build a secure AI infrastructure and also uh, promote the responsible use of AI. I would say that uh, AI is something that your businesses will want to use sooner or later. It is not a matter of if, but when, which means uh, uh, ensure that uh, you have uh, visibility. I think that's where it first starts off with visibility of what AI apps are being used. Uh, if you are building AI apps internally, ensure that you take all the secure best practices uh, uh, secure coding best practices in consideration like you do uh, 
uh, or if you are leveraging the third party uh, to uh, for uh, building an AI app or something, ensure that uh, it is securely built. It is not susceptible to prominent injection. It should not be jailbroken, so on and so forth. And then finally, if you are building your own LLMs, training data is 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 essentially also very important when we are talking about adoption of AI. What is it that your training data? Ensure that you get training data from a good source. Make sure that you are, you are, your training data is secure so it is not poison. You know, poisoning uh, of training data means that uh, it is your, your, your AI uh, app is learning something that it should not. And that privileged user should have uh, just not the basic security, just not the AV, something more, right? AV, EDR, two-factor authentication, uh, email should be secured, so on and so forth. I would uh, suggest that when we are to these CIOs is that A, uh, the basic hygienes, and then B would essentially be that when you're building, what are the different elements that go in building an AI infrastructure? Identify one of those elements and then, you know, go on securing those. We have a cybersecurity platform, which is an AI-powered cybersecurity platform. So I'm saying that if, you know, we are also talking about AI-powered attacks. So our answer is that if you have to deal with AI-powered attacks, you have to have an AI-powered platform. So for us, uh, our main platform, Vision One, it is uh, it is uh, completely AI driven. Our dream is, and in the future we have, is that a we have built this uh, uh, wonderful AI driven platform, and we are making this AI driven platform available to the customer. In parallel, we are also partnering with Nvidia, uh, wherein anyone who is leveraging this AI infrastructure, for example, which is NVIDIA led, uh, the security will be baked in along with it. It could be, uh, you know, large hyperscalers or service providers who are giving you NVIDIA led platform. Our intention is that whosoever is using AI uh, to build their infrastructure, they do it securely because then, you know, it is, uh, uh, it is baked in. Uh, an example I can give you is that, uh, uh, you know, in, in, in NVIDIA, there is something called as Morpheus, which is, uh, which is a chipset which detects anomaly, right? So, so what is its core functionality is that it can, it can scan a petabytes of data in seconds, but then it needs the Intel to figure out that, hey, this is an anomaly. It can churn data, but it needs the Intel to find out, hey, you know, this network data, the petabyte of data that you just, uh, you know, scanned, this is the anomaly. So who will provide that at Intel? We want to be one that will power NVIDIA from a security threat Intel standpoint. And we have made some good significant progress there. We, uh, our CEO, uh, she did a press release. I think we've released that publicly also. And uh, we have an exciting roadmap uh, around uh, uh, that as well.